shit. Here we go again. WWE 2K20 was released in October of 2019 and life has never been the same. The game that was so bad that IGN gave it a 4.3 out of 10. The game that was so bad that it has a 1.6 on Metacritic. A game that was so bad that they not only had to cancel a next year's game, they even had to delay the one after. This game was cancer, this game was disgusting, and honestly, this game probably started COVID. That's how fucked this game was. You name a glitch, it had it. And I know for a fact that someone console probably blew up after playing this game. This game is simply infamous. Going into 2K20, I thought we were out of the dark ages. I thought we were clear. It was all clear skies ahead. I'm like, yo, it's been five years since 2K15. The games are actually solid now because every year the WWE 2K games were improving and 2K19 was one of the best wrestling games ever. But nah, 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 nah. Apparently, we can't have nice things because after 2K19, they had the audacity to slap us in the face with this. Oh, How can you snap? How can you snap? This game straight up looks like a mobile game. This game's graphics look like a blind preschooler drew the wrestlers on his notebook. My grandma could have made this game have better graphics than this. And my grandma's dead. A straight up abomination, Michael Scott's dumb ass could have developed a better game than this. A lot of people such as myself played this game for a day or two and never played it again. But now it's 2021. We never got a WWE 2K21, and we're not getting 2K22 for a few months, so it was finally time. It's your boy Pav, aka Wrestling Gifts, and I have done the holy sacrifice. I've gone back, I've downloaded this so called video game to my console, and today we are going to answer two questions. Why did this game end up like this, and how is this game now, almost two years later? I got my ghillie suit ready, I'm going into war, and ladies and gentlemen, it's time. It's finally time to sadly take a look back at WWE 2K20. Since the year 1999, the mainline WWE THQ slash 2K games have been developed by good old Ukes, the developer responsible for bringing us so many classic wrestling games of our childhood, and yes, even 2K15. But through the ups and downs, Ukes still did their thing, and they were clearly passionate about making wrestling games. These legends would sit in their little studio, play with action figures in their offices, trying to think of cool stuff to add in the game. They loved wrestling, and they loved wrestling games. But as the years went on, the passion kind of died down. Ukes would still develop the games, assisted by 2K's in developer, visual concepts, but every year they were making games that they didn't want to make. They simply got bored of making wrestling games every single year. Not because they didn't want to make wrestling games, but because 2K wanted to make their wrestling games a certain way. Ukes wanted to do their own thing. They wanted to wow down and explore and take risks and honestly have fun, but they were kind of forced to make the games in a certain way. Yet they still pushed out the fantastic 2K19, which shows how elite Ukes is. They still made lemons out of lemonade, but it wasn't what they wanted. Ukes got tired of 2K, 2K got tired of Ukes, so 2K was like alright, we don't need you, and Ukes was like alright bet. So Ukes left after making WWE 2K19, and 2K, well they gave visual concepts free reign to develop 20. And this is the funny part, I remember this, fans were happy, they were sick of Ukes, they were so happy that Ukes left, they wanted change and they got it. They were so happy that Ukes was leaving, I vividly remember seeing these posts, only if you idiots knew what was coming. So take this in, 2K19 was developed by a company that made wrestling games for almost 20 years, and 20 was going to be developed by a company that makes NBA 2K and has kind of assisted on WWE games for a few years. It didn't sound too promising. The lead up to the 2K20 release was wild, there was no information coming out, nobody knew what the hell was going on, and all we got was a teaser trailer and the cover. No idea about game modes, we didn't even get the roster reveal until 15 days before the game was going to come out. Oh and um, when they did reveal the roster, they didn't show any of the wrestlers models, nah 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 nah. You know why? Because they look like this. First of all, every wrestler in this game looks depressed. And honestly, if I was in this game, I would be depressed too. Bailey looks like she has some next disease, and Becky, Becky, Becky. This Becky definitely don't got the good hair. She looks like a GTA 5 character that you run over on the street. And this is the cover star of the game? What? It gets even worse. This is supposed to be The Rock. 
No, no, this is not The Rock. This is Vin Diesel. Why is Vin Diesel in this game and not The Rock? And can someone please, I'm begging you, can you please tell me why they painted on Randy Orton's hair? How does this even happen? It looks like someone took it on his head. I, I can't, I can't. Carmella looks like a zombie, Randy Savage looks like a Karen, Rhea Ripley has a lazy eye for some reason, and Ruby Riot looks like Doodle Bob. We didn't get gameplay or the roster till the month of release, and the trailer that we did get with the gameplay was 90% entrances, and still had people saying, I can't wait to play this on a calculator. The game looked like it was going to be the biggest disappointment ever. But even then, it was like, yo, whatever. Maybe the graphics got downgraded, but maybe the gameplay is fine. You know, maybe it's the same, and we would be down with that. An updated roster, same gameplay, sure, would have been fine. But no, 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 this game came out and oh my god, this game gave 99% of the WWE gaming community depression. It was bad. No, it was worse than bad. It was straight up horrible. Missing features and modes, graphics looking like this was meant to be played on a potato, glitches, 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 crashing, crashing, crashing. We know what happened. 2K20 was released and day one we knew that this was probably one of the worst wrestling games ever. As the months went on, they released patches, eight of them, and they fixed stuff, but the game was way too broken to be ever truly enjoyed. The game at the core was just GG. The funniest part about this game is that when the clock hit midnight and the year changed from 2019 to 2020, WWE 2K20 stopped working. How the hell does that happen? How does a game that was made for 2K20 for 2020 stop working when it's finally 2020? That was just the icing on the cake. I did not play this game. I played 19, I played the older games, I never streamed it, I never played it, I never made any more videos on this game except for the first one I made when it came out. I stayed away from this game. I was quarantining from 2K20 before COVID was a thing. But now that I'm double vaccinated, here I am sitting in front of my PS5 back at it like a crack addict looking at my screen with 2K20 installed and it was time. It was finally time for me to play 2K20 and see how this game improved, if it was still the same and what was up. So I pressed X, I hit record and for the first time in almost two years I played this game and um, all I really gotta say is uh... This game is honestly just straight up depressing. Sure, the matches are all there, the menus look fine, but even on the menus you just see the gameplay and you remember, oh shit I'm playing 2K20, you see Becky Lynch's stupid ass graphics and you're like, why am I playing this? Yeah, the roster is solid and the matches are all here, the arenas are cool, but this game just sucks. It's so boring and these idiots, these idiots, they just had to mess everything up. They couldn't leave one thing the same. They even changed the controls. This game has the stupidest controls for a wrestling game you could ever possibly imagine. Triangle is reversal now. Square and X is your finisher. Two buttons for a finisher in a simulation game? Placing weapons is X and having fun in this game doesn't even have a button on the controller. I guess they forgot that. Every time I just look at this game, I'm gonna be honest, I just get annoyed. It looks so stupid, disgusting, and just ugly. The gameplay sucks, it's so clunky, and combined with the controls and ugly ass graphics, it's like, why would you play this? There's no polish, there is nothing. You gain absolutely nothing playing this game instead of 19. And you would think, eight patches later, we would be good. Sure, the game is still gonna be ugly forever, sure the gameplay at the core still sucks, but at least after eight patches there won't be bugs and glitches, or they might be at a minimum. Nope. Look at this list of bugs and glitches after the last patch. There are more bugs and glitches in this game than YouTube videos I have made in my career. And yo, don't even worry about reading a list. There's no point of reading a list. Just play the game for like two minutes and you will see everything fall apart. How does half of this shit even happen? Like there, this has to be a prank by the developers. Get off the tag. The career mode is so bad it doesn't make any sense. I don't know why or how I thought this was decent when I first played this. Maybe I was just trying to be optimistic back in 2019, but look at this. First of all, my random generated characters all look so bad and the one I do choose ends up looking like a 40 year old Karen. Why is she a wrestler and why is she in high school looking like this? And when it comes to the story, I have never seen a story mode so cringe. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? 
That was a huge mistake. Oh no, I've unleashed Hothead Red. I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right, I'm gonna give your grandmother bed sores. What is wrong with you? Calm down, deep breaths, maybe we can talk this out. I'm done talking. This is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you going to do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table? I'm going to get help. If any of you guys actually finished the story mode and enjoyed it, you know what? Let me know. Leave a comment below so I can just like give you a hug or something because you you guys need help. You need help if you enjoyed this. I know there's still an active community of people who play this game and I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. What do you guys do in this game? The most played mode every year is usually universe mode. But what's the point of playing because the game crashes like every 20 minutes? I tried. Honestly, I tried to be optimistic when playing this game. I was down for a few glitches and glitches make wrestling games fun. I know that. But this is something else. Even beyond the glitches. If this game had no glitches, I still wouldn't find myself playing this game. Sure, the game is playable now, but why would anyone in their right mind play this over 2K19? The controls suck. The gameplay is slow again. It's sluggish it's ugly it's glitchy there are barely any modes to play there's nothing fun to do here this game has no reason to exist and i can't believe after all the wwe games we grew up with and played we reached a point where the game was so bad they had to skip a year i don't know if the series can ever recover from this i mean that that's how bad this game was i don't know if 2k and visual concepts can fix this and if they can ever reach 2k19 levels again sure the graphics in the trailer for 2k 22 look fine, it look good, but I'm not falling for this again. 2K20 was that bad. And if you're one of those people that are like, oh my god, I love 2K20, it works fine for me. Honestly, good for you, but come on, girl. You know you deserve better. Have some higher standards. You deserve better than this game. I know in my series of a look back at wrestling games, I've said this a ton that, oh, this is the end of an era, end of an era. But this is truly the end of an era because I don't know if the wrestling games for WWE can ever reach what they used to be after an abomination like this like i don't know if there's ever any turning back and if there is it will take a long long time but it still blows my mind that this game came out in the state that it did and the fact that all this even happened in the first place what a time it was to be alive in the comments below let me know any memories you guys have of the 2k20 launch any memories you have related to this game if you were one of the few people that actually had fun playing this game let me know i really hope you guys enjoyed this video more content coming soon i got a lot of special things planned for you guys thank you guys for watching it means the world i love you guys i'll see you guys soon okay peace out a town